if you're gonna watch this video, you have to promise it's gonna be a judgment-free zone, guys, because today we're gonna to be organizing slash decluttering my house part two. So I have already uploaded a part one, which I'll link down below for you if you haven't seen yet. And you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I thought I would film again because yesterday I definitely had like a big purge and declutter again in the house. It's honestly so needed. I'm just basically going through all different rooms and going through cupboards and drawers and stuff that has not been looked at in a good amount of time. Just where like so much mess has accumulated. I don't even know how it got so bad. You know when you look at something and you're like, oh my God, it's just mind blowing how bad some of these cupboards are. So please do not judge me. I'm just here to kind of share with you guys that as much as things can look aesthetic online, there's a lot of mess that goes behind the scenes that you might not see. I mean, it definitely does for me anyway. I am like a messy girl who hates mess and I am on a mission this year to make sure my house is decluttered, tidy all the time and just well organized. So yeah, I'm just trying to go through all my house at the minute and just like get rid of as much stuff as I don't need, stuff I don't use. And then over the next few months, we can like just organize properly, get like new drawers and storage so solutions and systems and all that stuff, which obviously I'll keep filming for you if you wanna see it. Um, but yeah, go grab yourself a cup of tea, hot chocolate, coffee, whatever it is you enjoy. Get cozy and be prepared to see a load of mess. <laughs> so these two cupboards are like the understairs cupboards, even though they're not under the stairs, but these are the cupboards downstairs and they are pretty horrific to say the least. <laughs> Um, the storage is terrible. Let me just caveat that before I show you. But yeah, they're not great. All they've got in them is like a old shelf and then a few random shelves here. Um, yeah, these haven't been done since we moved in, so we've just left them as they are. But look, there's so much space that is not being used and it just turns into a dumping ground. Like shoes are here, cleaning products. Oh, it's just, it's pretty bad. If you thought that one was all right, just wait for this one. Please don't judge me. Ready? This is terrible. This is called like the dog walking cupboard. Basically, all our kind of scruffy clothes that are just for dog walking just get chucked here. Here, I said that really weird. And it's just a mess. Um, I've tried to organize it over the time, but yeah, stuff just gets dumped. I think today we're not gonna actually like, you know, put shelves up or anything like that. That's a whole job in itself. But I thought at least if I can declutter this as much as possible. I mean, wow, look at the color in here, like the blue. It's not given, is it? I would love to like have these knocked through and have one big cupboard with two doors, but that's just too much work and these doors are quite new so I think yeah if I can strip them back as much as possible and then I can do another video another day where we actually put shelves up we can paint them because I feel like with this sort of cupboard if you just had loads and loads of shelves you could put your shoes in and stuff even maybe like a shoe rack give me some storage ideas because we need one for like shoes and like a few little jackets and then we need another which is going to be more for cleaning products do you see what I'm saying but yeah what I'm going to do is get my trusty little cycle bags ready and just go through this and be pretty savage to be honest if you don't know, I basically put stuff in these bags, give them to my mum and she'll decide whether to take them to the charity shop, whether they're not good enough or anyone she knows will want any of the bits. She's like my sorter outer when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, let's start. I hope this end was okay for you guys. It's a bit difficult because like, I put you in my kitchen. Kind of the only way you can see behind me, but I feel like it's not the best angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one bag for stuff that... I think maybe worthy of like the charity shop or you know my mum using and then I'm gonna do another bag which is just gonna be bin and stuff that I know for sure is not worthy of anyone like reusing it. And I think when it comes to dog walking coats, I'm just gonna keep two because how many coats do you actually need for dog walking? Like I'm trying to just not hoard things anymore and just be a bit more minimalist as much as I can be. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, there are so many jackets in here. Like, these are jackets I've obviously just worn once and kind of just chucked them here thinking, oh yeah, that'll be for a dog walk another time. How many jackets does a girl need for dog walks? The thing is though, I have got some cute ones like this. I do like it, but it's not the most comfortable. I remember it, you know, I'm gonna have to try it on quick. But I remember this one, I'm sure it like annoys me. Like these bits annoy my neck. Mm. It's gonna go in the maybe pile for now. And then a lot of this stuff is Jordan's too, so obviously I can't make a decision on that because it's his choice. Um, this is quite a nice little Zara coat, but you know what my mum said to me the other day, she was like, do you have any puffer coats? Um, I was like, well, no, because if I do, I'll give you them. <laughs> um, but actually I was wrong, I've got a really cute little Zara puffer. It's covered in foundation, but once that's washed off, I think this would be perfect for my mum because she's not like a big puffer sort of gown. <laughs> She likes things a little bit more fitted, whereas I quite like oversized and puffy and you know, so I think she will love that. So the bag is filling up already. Why 
why, why did I get started? Honestly, look at this. Lola, what are you doing? This isn't what I was going to show you, but I'm sorry, I can't not. Come here. Good morning, baby. She always likes being a part of what I'm doing, but yeah, look at this, guys. We've got loads of old Christmas stuff. Just, oh my God, honestly. Honestly, look, what have I started? I don't know, but it's got to be done. I feel so much better once this is done. So I've been going pretty savage on this cupboard and I have not been holding back. There's a lot I'm getting rid of. Like I'm getting rid of most of the stuff in there, but I'm at that stage where it's a bit like that ugh stage where you're not finished, but at the same time, there's not much else you can do. Let me spin you around to show you what I mean. Also, excuse any noise. I've got like the tumble dryer on, the dishwasher on. It's all going on this morning. But so this one is my chucking away one because it's just old rubbish stuff that no one's going to want. Oh, we're not focused. This one is stuff I think people are going to want. So that will go to my mum. There's like lots of hats and scarves and stuff like that. Some random makeup products. Don't even ask why makeup was in that cupboard. Who knows? So yeah, we've done that. Then I've got a bag here as well full of coats. I was ruthless. I did get rid of them two puffers in the end. Even though I like them, I know I'll end up getting more. So got rid of those. Um, so up here we have a basket with Lola's stuff in. This one is like just stuff like this, like tape, um, scissors, batteries, all random stuff like that. This one is a little bit miscellaneous and also electrical stuff. And then I just put Lola's stuff there. And then down here, we've got a bag with bags in it. So, you know, for shopping, a Christmas decoration thing, which we'll need to go somewhere else. And that bag back there has actually got loads of scrapbook stuff in it. Very random. So, you know, it's not bad for a crappy cupboard. You know, it's a little bit more organized. It's so much better than it was. And I got rid of three hog bags. Like, that is good going. But I've still got loads of random stuff laying around, which is Jordan's. Again, why is there, like these in I think they were given to him and he needed to decide who's gonna keep them yeah so what I might do is just neatly fold up his stuff and put it here because it's not my place to decide what he keeps what he doesn't so I'm gonna do that now and then he can go through that at the weekend but yeah I'll show you it once it's done but obviously it's not perfect but it's it's you know decluttered which is step number one so I'm happy about that and then I'm gonna do the same for this cupboard which there's not gonna be much decluttering in here because I know we want to keep most of the stuff but again I could just kind of get rid of some little bits here and there and just free them up and then this can be a project. Please give me any like recommendations you have for these two cupboards here because I would love to have them as organized as possible and ha kind of have it as a project. So I'm not sure what to do because are they wasted if I put like hangers up for coats or is that a good use of space? I'm not sure. Maybe the walking coats should just go in the garage. I really don't know the answers. So yeah, if you've got any recommendations or ideas, please put them in the comments because I would love to hear them. Okay, so here it is, just a neat-ish. <laughs> pile of folded up clothes but yeah much better I think anyways let's move on to this one I've taken out my bag of bags because I think this one will probably live in here honestly I don't know what to do with this one there's not really much I can do because there's no way to put these shoes these are just like the go-to shoes they just get chucked in here and I try and kind of keep it organized but it just ends up chaotic I think if I can make this a little bit better which I probably can I mean it could get much worse then maybe there'll be more space for shoes but yeah I feel like we just need like a big rack for shoes because it would just make life so much easier. Lola thinks everything's for her, don't you? You silly bubby. Right, so from this cupboard, 
I managed to fill up another two bags. So this bag is stuff to give to my mum. There's some trainers in there I definitely know she will wear once they're cleaned up. There's like a brand new curler in there which she can give to a friend or something. Some Christmas decorations I don't want, photo frames, loads of random stuff, storage baskets. Definitely stuff she or her friends can't make use of. And then this bag is just uh, rubbish, like receipts and just random boxes and stuff I found which I don't know why they were in there. They've obviously just been kind of chucked in there. It's not a pretty sight still. I mean up here we've just got like the bag of bags, electrical stuff few pairs of shoes, toilet paper, and then yeah, just like my Birkenstocks are all here. Jordan's trainers, and then a mess down here, because I just thought, you know what, like, there's no point. It's such a mess, there's still stuff down there that I don't know where to put. I just need to get this organized. So I'm gonna keep reiterating that point, but really need these to have shelves up. Yeah, it's just gonna make life so much easier. And these are like decent cupboards. Like, look how deep this is. Like, it's literally longer than my whole arm. We really should be making use of the space and it goes up really high as well. So yeah, anyways, that is as much as I can do for these cupboards for now. And I need to think about what I'm gonna do next. I feel like I'm slowly but surely making my way through all the house, which is good. Okay, so now upstairs. So here's a little pile of just some jackets and stuff that I took out my cupboard over the weekend because I very much have like a one in one out sort of policy now and it just means I'm constantly getting rid of stuff because as you guys know I work with brands and that so I'm constantly getting clothes in and as they come in I like to get rid of them at the same rate and this will all go to charity. I'm just gonna bag these up now and then I'll have a little look through my wardrobe as well to see if there's anything else but I'm literally like the biggest clearer outer when it comes to clothes you'll ever know if you watched my last kind of like declutter and organize you'll know how many clothes i got rid of and that's something i do every month or two i genuinely do not have as many clothes as you would think and there's some really nice pieces in here like this is a really nice little short cropped trench coat yeah there's a lot of stuff in here which i do like but i know that i'm not going to wear it all and there's only so many clothes one person possibly needs so yeah there's some like for example, this little trench coat is basically identical to the last one. And as much as they're nice, they're kind of thin. So I feel like, am I actually going to wear them? This one is a really cute little trench. Again, actually really nice quality. But it's got the grey collar and I, I know I probably won't lean to it. This jacket here is actually the same one as that one from downstairs earlier. The black one I said I'll give to my mum. But in the cream. Literally new with, I'm sure the tag, yep, yeah, look. The tag is still on it from Zara, I bought this, 50 quid, but I haven't reached for it and I've had it like two years now, so I just kind of think, well, I know my mum will wear that, so she can have that, for example. What else have we got in here? We've got a lot of like knitwear and stuff, because I'm very fussy when it comes to knitwear. So we've got this one from In The Style, a lot of the stuff is In The Style actually, um, which I have worn or I just haven't worn and then I, you know, I know I can get rid. Like, this is a two-piece cord set, I've got so many lounge cord sets that someone else will get better use out of this than me i do get asked constantly like you know am i going to put stuff on depop the answer for now is no it's not no necessarily forever i'll see in the future but i just like giving to charity i don't necessarily need to make money from this stuff because i feel grateful that i've even had these opportunities um and it's kind of my way of giving back a little bit and being completely honest as well with the time and effort that goes into Depop for the little return you get, that's another reason I just can't really be bothered. But maybe one day, maybe one day, look, all this brand new tags, that is the answer to that really. Again, another bag of clothes gone, which we love to see. Generally, one of my favourite things is getting rid of stuff. I love it. It gives me such joy. Sounds sad, but I do enjoy getting rid of stuff. This is why I have to get rid of stuff too, because like this is my uh, coat section of my wardrobe and blazers, and it is so full. And this isn't even all of them, I've got stuff under the bed as well. I'm going to have a quick skim anyway, but I don't feel like I'm going to want to part with any of this stuff. But I'll have a quick look. See this coat, I love this coat. Like I love the colour, it's really nice, but it's on Shein, and it's actually quite good quality, but it's kind of stiff. But I don't know if it needs washing, um, it's just one of those ones where I'm like, I could probably part with that, but I'm not quite ready. And then this jacket I got from Primark, I've only had this like this year. Um, I like it, but... I haven't reached for it as much as I thought I was gonna. But again, I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll see with those two. A lot of this stuff is new. Like look, brand new with tags from Zara. I haven't even worn that yet. There's definitely a few pieces in here, which yeah, I'm on the fence on it, how long, how much longer they will have a place in my wardrobe. But I've got to be sure, I think, before I, I mean, to be fair, this 
blazer from Naked Fashion. I don't ever reach for it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one because it's quite bulky as well. So that can go. I've got quite a few trenches very, very similar to each other as well. I'm not quite ready to let go. This one could probably go from Shein. It's quite thin. Um, it's cute, but I've got better, so I'll get rid. Uh, H&M, Primark. This jacket, I don't know why I bought it, to be honest. Brand new with tags. Um, I bought this thinking I was going to wear it. I really don't like it anymore. Less than six months ago. I'm going to get rid. I hate stuff like that where I spent the money. I haven't even worn it once. This is from in the style but again i know you know what i'm gonna get rid because i know i'm not gonna wear it and that it, it could all go i know i'm not gonna wear them so this one again is in the style i thought i was gonna wear this but i don't think i'm going to it's too dark for me i don't really like this shade of gray on me so i'm gonna get rid of that one too okay there's definitely some things i didn't anticipate that i am getting rid of which is kind of good to see what is this from in the style a plain black blazer. This coat from H&M is like one of those long grey coats. I'm not gonna lie, I really regret buying this. And this is a recent purchase. I've only had this a few months. The reason why is because it's just so heavy and it's not the nicest fabric. It was only like £35, which is why I think I kept it. I do regret that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna keep it for now, but there was one that Primark did, which was slightly lighter than this, and it's just so much nicer. So when I replace this, this will go. But for now, I'll keep it, but... It's definitely one of those, like, I need to get better at this. I am getting better, but I still sometimes mess up and keep things that I, you know, live to regret. That Chloe bag is not a real one, by the way. I got it because a brand sent me it, and I wanted to compare it to um, the real one. And to be honest with you guys, very, very similar, but I don't need it. So, again, that can go to my mother or charity shop. Right, I found the next place to tackle. Honestly, any cupboard in this house, I feel like it's just dumping ground. It's not good, it's not good. So in our lounge, we have this lovely sideboard, which is not so lovely inside. Yeah, there's just so much random stuff in here. Like stuff just gets dumped. It's like these, I thought, oh, I don't know where to put them. I'll just put them in here. It's just ridiculous. They're not good. I don't even want to go in them. Like money from holiday honestly i don't even know these are not mine <laughs> yeah let's sort through these because this is just awful 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 Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. So this cupboard is gonna be um, like electricals, because you always need that cupboard with like wires, um, you know, cables and stuff, and like tape measures and just random stuff. This one's gonna be Lola's cupboard, with just stuff for her, and then this one's gonna be like Jordan's cupboard slash, like just stuff you might need, like paracetamol and stuff to the ready. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the bottom cupboards now as well, because I'm pretty sure these don't have that much in them. So I'm thinking like any ornaments that I don't want out right now that I know I'm gonna have out, can go in here, so I feel like it will help me organise these. Um, but we're getting somewhere. Filled up this bag quite a bit. Yeah, I feel so disgusting, like, sharing this with you guys, because I don't know why there's so many cupboards like this in my house, but at the same time, I know it's real life, and, like, people do do this, because um, you just kind of have random stuff, and you're like, I don't know where to put it, I'll just put it here. And I'm not trying to live like this anymore, which is why I'm trying to do, like, change my whole house. I'm trying to say, if it doesn't have a home, you don't keep it or find a home. But, like, all of this is the accumulation of a good few years, and hopefully, hopefully, once everything is organized other than like reorganizing to make it even more organized because like one day i'd like to get like all organizational dividers for stuff like this you know have that sort of house but first off this is just like step one you know decluttering and somewhat organizing but yeah hopefully things will never get to the state they were at again because i'm really trying to get better at that sort of stuff but yeah anyways let's carry on <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so they're not too bad. There's definitely stuff in here that I don't need. Um, oh. Don't you far. Oh, no, it's because her toys are here. That's going to go in here because I don't like you chewing that when your daddy's not here. She has this, um, like, lump of, like, tree. It's like a proper dog thing, but she always kind of, like, chews it and then sometimes chokes on it. So certain things, like, she does not have when Jordan's not here because... I just get too paranoid and like, I need someone else around. I don't do well <laughs> under stress with her. Like if she starts choking or like, she's always fine. She clears her own airways. But if she eats something and then just makes that noise, oh my God, I'm so panicked. So I don't want to ever give her stuff that could cause that when I'm the only one here. Anyways, like I've got a nail lamp in here. Hopefully my shoes aren't dirty. Um, yeah, I've got a nail lamp in here and products that I know I'm never going to use because I'm a serial like getting my nails done kind of gal. Like I've, I've tried, but I'm gonna put this in the bag and my mum can pass that on. She won't use it, but I know that someone she knows will. So she can pass that on because uh, it's just a waste me keeping it. Yeah, I think in here there's not too much really. So we've got some more cables. So I can, oh, I definitely don't wanna break that. I can pop these cables up in here, which is good. A lot of these are Apple chargers, which I think are broken, but I'll keep them just in case, because you know what it's like when you your phone charger breaks and then at least you can have like a temperamental one that you can find. It's better than not having one at all until your like Amazon order arrives the next day. So I'm just gonna keep those for now. Yeah, this like sideboard really isn't utilized very efficiently. Like not, you know, it could definitely have more in here. I don't really know what, because I don't want to clutter up the house. It's one of those like where it could have more, but at the same time, what more does it actually need, you know? You are gonna be so annoying, aren't you, you silly woman? Should we put these in here? Yes, they're not for Lola. These are not for Lola. Put these in here as well, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing, silly woman? Okay, so I've pretty much sorted these out. There wasn't really too much to do. This side has just got ornaments, which are kind of like more seasonal and stuff that I'll pop out later on in the year. So that's nice and empty actually. Got room for some more in there, definitely. And then this side is just a little bit miscellaneous. So I've got like electrical leads, um, like my camera box, and then some board games and like pens and stuff up there. And a candle, which I guess actually this candle, which has turned a really weird colour. I think this is... The White Company, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is, and it's turned like orange. I mean, it never really got burnt much. I kind of had it more for display, but I'll pop that in there too, because it's more, you know, decoration sort of thing. I'm surprised it's turned that color, considering it's been in a cupboard, <laughs> like without the sun getting to it. It definitely, I'm sure it was white before. I might be making it up, but I'm sure that was white. But anyway, and then here, I've, I wanted to chuck it because I hate paper, but like, this is like our hub sort of, you know, BT hub thing. How cute is this? Jordan got me this, look, when I hit 150k on Insta. I thought that was really cute, you got me a plaque. But I don't want it on display necessarily yet. Maybe if I sort my filming room out, but I think for now, if I just pop it in here, like when I do go in here, I can then see it. It's just a little reminder, isn't it? But that's definitely something I'll pop on the wall one day, especially when I hit my 100k on YouTube, which hopefully one day I will. <laughs> um, to have these on the wall would just be really cute. But yeah, I think they're pretty much done. I apologize for anyone that wants like a big, like, um, you know, really aesthetic transformation. It's not really that sort of video today. It's more just kind of like declutter and organized, but like semi-organized. Um, I guess it is more decluttering, isn't it? Than anything else. But next on the list is to go through Lola's toys. Now this is something I've done recently. I don't even want to tell you how many toys she has because every single time I go to the shops, I will come back with a new to toy for her. Like it's a guaranteed thing that happens. She is the most spoiled dog I've ever met. But we just love her so much, so why not? She gets really attached to her toys, like, she loves them. Even when she de-stuffs them, which happens within, like, five minutes of her being given it. We call it the skin of the toy, like, she loves her, the skin. Like, she'll walk around with a little skin, she'll fling it up in the air, like, and you think she's forgotten about it, and then she'll go back to it a few weeks later, and then be obsessed with it for a week, and then it'll be the next one. So we feel really guilty, like, chucking them out, because she loves them so much. But when you see what I'm about to show you, it's just ridiculous. Now, I need to get a toy box for her toys, um, at the minute they're just like in an old bed of hers, very weird, but they just go everywhere where she like rummages through them, it's just a mess. I do need to be, you know, 
kind to her because I don't want to like get rid of all her toys but I do want to declutter them down by at least I want to say a third I want to get rid of a third I'm going to try and get rid of the ones that I know she doesn't really lean towards <laughs> sounds ridiculous but let me show you this is what we're working with it's just by the side of the sofa and normally they're all nicely kind of in her basket well I say her basket in her beds but yeah they're just they get like this I mean this is actually not that bad they often just go everywhere they live here because they're so colorful and there's no color in my house not like this anyway so I'm gonna have a look through it there's definitely like this one for example it's ridiculous but she loves it like this is her elephant and then I hate when she plays with this because it's so hard it hurts my hands um this one was her chicken which she just loves there's like fluff in here so yeah I'm gonna have a little bit of a declutter like this I don't remember her ever really playing with this so maybe certain things but there's certain things like this oh my god it's her favorite I probably shouldn't keep it when it gets this bad but yeah if you're a dog owner I'm sure you understand but this literally goes so like this just there's just too much okay let's sort through it you're not gonna be very happy with me are you I don't think you're gonna like me after this no you're not she's had Mr. Monkey since she was born that was what we came home with you with wasn't it yes it was and look more fluff because it's your favorite thing to do D stuff in every toy isn't it I think if I start by emptying this I can then kind of see more clearly what there is oh no she's already come over yeah there's way too much in here look look a girl does not need this many toys. Let's be ruthless. She's going to hate me. Like this one. I don't even remember her ever playing with this. It's literally crispy. It is crispy. It's going in the bin. And this. Mr. Carrot. Mr. Fucking Carrot. Look at him. He is ridiculous. He can go in the bin as well. No, no, you can't go break. She's now trying to go in the bin. She loves this. That can stay. And that is a new toy. I don't think she really plays this one. Halloween, that can go. And the leg can go as well. I think it's time to say goodbye as well to this one. And this one. Mr. Lion. Oh my goodness. Look at this dinosaur. Again, I never see her play with this, so that can go. Guys, that was a challenge. Honestly, she is not happy. She is not a happy girl. Look, you didn't play with these toys. I got rid of quite a lot. There's quite a lot in here. Um, yeah, you know what though, Lola? It makes room for new toys. You don't need all these toys. I feel a bit guilty. Even this many, this is ridiculous. But you're not gonna miss them, my love. You're not gonna miss them. I'll probably do another condensed version another day, but I need to see like out of these, what ones are her favorites. That ghost, I don't think she even plays with it, but it, it's still full, so like, I might as well keep it. But anyway, we'll stop there. I really wanted to get rid of Mr. Elephant, but I feel guilty because she clearly loves him, so. <laughs> So guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I was gonna keep filming, but I kind of just ran out of stuff to do. The kitchen is still on my list to have a look through, but I have already done it pre-Christmas and I did not film it and I'm still annoyed at myself for not filming it because there was so much stuff I got rid of. I feel like it would have been a really good video, but it's done now. So with the kitchen, I wanna get like lots of storagey bits for in there. So when I do do that, I will film it. But yeah, there wasn't really too much else to film. I feel like most of the house now is purged and decluttered. There must be a few more cupboards here and there that I haven't thought about, but yeah, I'll maybe film a part three. If not, I'll start filming the organization videos as and when they happen. Also, if you are someone that loves all my home sort of content, you'll be happy because I'm definitely this year wanting to refresh some of the house. So I'm really hoping this year will be the year I get new sofas and a chair for the living room because I just really don't like my sofas and that chair. It's the color for me. The fact it's like a silver and it's shiny. I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, I'm really hoping to like upgrade them soon. I have actually found ones I want, but I'm just on the fence because they're cream and having a dog and cream does not go. So I just need to decide if I'm gonna be prepared to have a sofa that's gonna need cleaning like every five minutes or not. And I also wanna get a new bed for my main bedroom and just kind of decorate that up a little bit and just switch things out. So as and when I do that, there will be more home content coming, which I really miss. I haven't done that in such a long time. I wish I could film home stuff every single week, but there's only so much I can do. And also I can't just keep buying stuff constantly, but yeah, be prepared for more home content because it will be coming over the next few months. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully it's given you a little bit of motivation to declutter yourself. Decluttering just makes me feel so much clearer headed and just calm and relaxed. And if I'm having like a stressful day, decluttering definitely helps. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Mwah.